friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday, it's Friday, it's the weekend. We're gonna chat about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link Nutrition Coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022 and almost 140 pounds total. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for extra accountability and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and of course my Facebook group. Come on over, join us. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump into my week, my way in and the WW workshop topic. Friday friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing week. I had a pretty good week. I just got home from my final boot camp for the week. We had a rough workout. Fridays are circuit days for us and it is usually my highest caloric burn day, which is interesting to me because it's, I feel like it's less intense than Mondays and Wednesdays, but I seem to burn more calories probably because it is very much a hit workout between circuits, running, walking, burpees, things like that. So I just finished boot camp, and when I got home, I had a package in the mail from Cupshe. If you didn't know, I'm actually heading to San Diego next week to visit my best friend, and we are doing a hot chocolate, chocolate-inspired 5K together, which I'm so excited about. I'm doing a little mini meetup with all of you that live in San Diego area. I also have some of you flying in for the meetup, which I'm really excited about. So it's going to be a fantastic week, but I needed to pick up a couple of new swimsuits for San Diego. We are going to be doing some swimming, spending a little bit of time at the pool, and then I wanted to get a fun new outfit to wear while I'm there as well. So I went ahead and placed an order with Cupshe. I've actually shared Cupshe here on my channel with you before. We've done a couple of hauls. I love their bathing suits and they have really stepped up their game with clothing as well. So I decided to pick up two bathing suits, a cover up, a super cute top that I can wear not only to the 5K if I want, to the workouts that I'll be doing in San Diego, and then a super fun outfit to either wear to the meetup or dinner or some other event that we do while I'm visiting. So so first let's talk bathing suits. Now, disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. I'm going to put myself out here on the internet in a bathing suit. I've lost almost 140 pounds. I have loose skin. My problem areas, my back, the girls, and my thighs. I have a lot of loose skin in all of these areas. So please be kind, keep any inappropriate comments to yourself because I'm putting myself out here for you to show you that even after massive weight loss or on a weight loss journey, you can wear whatever bathing suit you want to wear and be confident. And cup she suits definitely help me feel confident. I also needed to order a couple of new suits because my previous bathing suits from cup she were a size extra large. They are now too big for me, which we're not mad about. So I wanted to order a couple of new suits in a size large just so that they fit me a little bit better and I felt a little bit more confident in them. I did pick up a one piece and a tankini. So let's start with the tankini. How fun is this color? It is like this red orange color. Perfect for summer. The tankini that I picked up is the joyful retro solid ruffled tankini and classic hipster set. This suit is only $26.99. It actually comes in three different colors in sizes extra small through extra large. It's a halter style tankini that features wide supportive straps with a fun flirty V neckline with ruffles. It comes with the matching hipster bottom that has a standard rise and quite a bit of booty coverage. The other thing I loved about this bathing suit is the full coverage back because like I mentioned, my back is a problem area for me and this covers and conceals everything. This is so adorable. I love the color. One thing I also want to show you is that the bottoms, they have this fun ruching design, which is really flattering on the booty area. Again, I picked mine up in a size large. It fit me perfectly. 
I love this. I'm so excited to wear this. And then, like I mentioned, I picked up a one piece. I thought this was so cute with the black bottom and then this fun kind of tropical floral design. And I love that it has the rain accent. It just gives it a really fun vibe. This is the Maya Floral O-Ring Crisscross Tummy Control One Piece Swimsuit. It is $29.99. It actually comes in two different colors and patterns and sizes extra small through extra, extra large. It has the two fun O-rings on the straps and then it comes to this really pretty floral V neckline with crisscross thin straps in the back. What I also loved about this is it's tummy control. So if your tummy is your problem area, whether there's extra fat there or skin there, this is definitely going to give you some control. I felt like my stomach was looking nice and flat in this bathing suit. I will say that for me, I wish the back had a little bit more coverage. However, once I have my plastic surgery in May, the back won't be as big of a problem area for me, but I thought this was beautiful and flattering. It does have adjustable straps and removable padding. I like pattern bathing suits, but I like when they're solid on the bottom and patterned on the top. I feel like it's a little bit more flattering to the figure and you can't beat the price for how amazing the quality actually of both of these suits are. And then of course I picked up a cover up because I always, always have a cover up with me. I am not going to waltz around hotels or gyms or lobbies in a bathing suit. I definitely like to wear a cover up down to the pool. Then I have no problem removing the cover up and waltzing around the pool in my bathing suit. So I went ahead and grabbed this super cute black black cover up. This is a one size fits all. This is the Beverly Tassel V-neck cover up dress. It is only $22.99. It definitely elevates your beach style with this breezy knit cover up dress. It has crochet trims, fun little tassel cuffs, and a flirty mini hem that will have you feeling like a summer goddess. This definitely runs big. This is huge on me. So I'm going to wash and dry this. It is, like I said, a one size fits all. So if you struggle with one size fits all items fitting you, you may love this because it's definitely, definitely oversized. I do love all the crochet along the bottom hem, which is super fun. And then you gotta love the little tassels. That's what drew me to this cover up. So I will definitely be wearing that over the two bathing suits. And then for an outfit, I wanted something casual, but I could elevate it up with some cute pair of, with a cute pair of shoes or some jewelry. So I picked up a romper. I love rompers. I love rompers. I think they are very, very flattering on the figure. They conceal and hide all the lumps and bumps and they look just seamless on the body. I loved this olive green color. This is the Rivka Drawstring Tank romper. Now it does only come in this olive green color, but it does come in sizes small through extra large. It's an ultra comfy jersey knit romper with a flattering scoop neck, adjustable drawstring waist, cute shoulder straps, and a handy slanted pocket. I have to say, I love that there's pockets and I did pick mine up in a large. I definitely, definitely should have sized down to a medium, but because it has the adjustable strap around the waist, I was able to cinch it in. And I love that feature. I think the cinching in around the waist gave my figure a really nice flattering look rather than it just being like a paper bag. And I love that it's a tank top. So you can even wear a cute little denim jacket over this black, denim or even a shacket and really elevate the look. But I love that it was a tank top. I love the length of it. It covers up the loose skin on my thighs and it is so soft and ultra, ultra comfortable. And again, you cannot beat the price for the quality. And then I picked up a tank top, something I thought I could wear working out both in San Diego and home. This is probably the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. This is the Catherine Mesh Wrap top. It's only $17.99. It comes in black only in sizes small through extra large. It kind of gives a touch of allure to your closet because it features a round neckline, a front cutout with a sheer mesh insert wrap design, and a sleeveless cut. I love halter tops. I think halter tops are so flattering on literally everybody. And I love that this has that wrap design. Again, it camouflages the tummy area. It's so buttery soft. It's so thick. It's so comfortable. I'm actually going to pick up a second one because I can see myself wearing this not only to the gym, but how cute would this be with a pair of denim shorts for summer? I honestly wish it came in more colors. Cupshe, if you're listening, bring out more colors because this is 
one of the favorite tank tops in my wardrobe and it's such an affordable price. That's my little cup she haul for my trip to San Diego and then of course just adding these really fun bathing suits, this cover up, and these two clothing pieces to my wardrobe. I will go ahead and link everything I shared with you down below along with the cup she website and a 15% off discount code with any order, $65 or more site wide. So now let's go ahead and jump into my week. Well, my week overall was pretty good. I am on my cycle. That's fun. And as I get closer to premenopause, maybe I'm even in premenopause or closer to menopause, my cycle is more and more irregular. Now it's coming in like 20 to 25 days instead of 25 to 30 days. So that is something that I don't love, but I've actually considering everything felt pretty good on my cycle this week. I've had bouts of feeling a little bit bloated and bleh, but I've still been able to get in my workouts. I am a little bit extra tired this week, which probably has to do with my cycle and just some of the stress in my life overall with Lola and going to chemo. In fact, this week, chemo was a pretty intense session for her. She does get to take next week off. So for chemo for dogs, it's four weeks on, one week off, and then you repeat that for four cycles. So basically it's a five month process and it's just stressful for me as her mom. I just hate that she gets sick. I hate that she has to go there. I just hate everything about cancer and cancer in humans, cancer in dogs. It's just something that we never want to deal with. But of course, she's my best friend. So whatever we have to do to make her feel better, we will do it. And so far, chemo's working very well for her. Her lymph node swelling has went down. And she honestly is back to, she's her normal self. She acts just like she's always acted. We don't have any weird side effects. So I'm super grateful for that. So it's just been a week of a little bit of added stress, maybe not feeling my best, but I'm proud of myself for sticking with my food, drinking my water, and getting in my exercise. I feel like for me, exercise is just something I do. It's just something that's built into my life and not even something that I have to plan or worry about. I have to focus more on my food and drinking my water. So I'm discovering every single day where I am in my journey. And I have to say that overall, I feel like my week was a 10 out of 10. But before we talk about my weigh-in, I want to talk about this week's topic for uh, this week's WW workshop topic. You guys, this is my favorite topic ever. I just talked about this in a video, and that is, is my weight loss goal right for me? I talk all about the BMI chart and how it's archaic and out of date, and we should not under any circumstances, Weight Watchers included, have our goal weight based on the BMI chart. It should be based on our individual bodies, not on some archaic chart. So this week, we're going to talk a little bit about choosing a goal weight for you. There are three things you should ask yourself when you're thinking about your goal weight. Number one, is it achievable? Number two, is it meaningful? And most importantly, number three, is it sustainable? Sure, I could get down to a low weight on the BMI chart, but it's absolutely not sustainable for me. So that shouldn't be my goal weight. That shouldn't be my focus. Start off with a healthy weight loss target. Half of a pound to about two pounds per week is considered healthy. And then there's a few other things that you can try and think about when establishing a healthy goal weight for you. So number one, do you have a time frame in mind for your weight loss? If the answer is yes, so maybe by it's a birthday or another milestone, then do the math. If your date is 10 weeks away, your goal might be about 15 pounds. Go ahead and jot down the number of pounds that you're looking to lose. And to get a reasonable time frame, divide that by one or two, because remember, half of a pound to two pounds is healthy amount of weight loss per week. If the answer to do you have a time frame in mind for weight loss is no, then your next step would be you're not really sure what the minimum amount of weight that you have to lose is. That's okay. Aim for about six pounds per month, which is healthy, sustainable weight loss. And then write your goal down. I would like to lose this amount of pounds over the next blank weeks. It's absolutely normal to have dream digits that you'll probably never see on the scale. Or if you do see it on the scale, you're not going to be able to maintain that. And that can really wreak havoc on our mental health. Thinking that we have to get to this number and knowing that once we get there, we only stay there for a week or two. That's not a number we should be focused on. And you're also no, not going to get to that dream digit by next Tuesday. You didn't gain all your weight overnight. You're certainly not going to lose it overnight. And remember, fast weight loss doesn't stay off. Slow and steady, sustainable weight loss does. And you don't even have to have a big goal. You can have a little mini goals. Like I always mentioned for me on my weight loss journey, it was to get into the next weight decade. 
200 pounds, 190 pounds, 180 pounds. And that was a big goal and milestone for me. Every time I would hit a new weight decade, I would celebrate. The right goal for you and the goal that you're likely to not only achieve but maintain is the one that you can break down into smaller steps. These steps will feel attainable, they're healthy, and they equate to slow and steady weight loss, not fast fixes or fast weight loss. Focus on your mini wins and remember that every goal is attainable for you and you want to make sure that whatever goal or goals you set for yourself, they're healthy, they're realistic, and number one, numero uno, they're sustainable forever. And remember, the journey is in a straight line and it's okay to adjust and reevaluate and course correct throughout our weight loss journey. So as always, I want to share three fast facts with you. Number one, a healthy rate of weight loss is an average of one to two pounds per week. Number two, everyone experiences weight gains and plateaus along their weight loss journey. And number three, research shows that when we set a more realistic weight loss goal, we're more likely to be successful. So remember, look at your goals, make sure they're sustainable forever. That's the key takeaway from today's topic. And I'm so happy, beyond happy that WW is addressing this. And not once did they mention the BMI chart. They're talking about a weight loss goal that's doable, sustainable, achievable, meaningful for you. And we're all different. So all of our goals are going to be different as well. So speaking of weight loss goals and speaking of weight loss, let's go ahead and jump in to my weigh-in. Like I mentioned, this is the week of my cycle. Typically, the week leading up to my cycle, I'm at my leanest. And then during my cycle, my weight can really fluctuate. Sometimes I'll stay pretty lean. Sometimes my weight will drastically go up. Sometimes it'll stay about the same. So when I stepped on the scale today, I'm actually up 0.4. That's nothing. I'm not concerned at all. And I actually take that as a win considering that I am on my cycle and pretty sore from all my workouts this week. I've really upped my weights at the gym for my strength training days, and I've really, really been pushing myself at boot camp, which leads to being a little bit more sore. And when we break down our muscles, they retain water and they become inflamed in order to rebuild and grow, which can lead to a weight gain on the scale. So I take 0.4 basically as a maintain for me. And I know for me and my body, 0.4 is nothing, and I can lose that in a matter of hours. So I don't let the scale define my week or define my success or affect my day whatsoever, I still take that 0.4 gain as a huge win. I'm continuing to push through, continuing on my journey, and continuing to see if this is where my body wants to stay weight-wise. So now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? What do you think about having a weight loss goal specific to you and that has nothing to do with the BMI chart or any other chart or calculator out there? Because none of those are specific to you. And every body is different and every weight loss goal is going to be different. So let me know your thoughts. And of course, definitely check out Cupshe. Like I said, everything will be linked down below for you. I'm super excited to take all of these pieces with me to San Diego. I know that I'll be wearing these all the time. And like I said, super impressed with the quality. So everything will be in the description box along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, don't forget to come on over and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching friends. Happy Friday. And I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.